Last time on a table for one. While exploring the house, you come across an interesting tale. Years ago, the Romanescus and ancient royal family made a last stand in this very house. All but one were murdered by their own guards. Studying the family's genealogy, you realize that one of you is the heir to the Romanescu fortune. If their heir sits on a throne in this house, then the fortune will be restored to the last Romanescu. Looking around in amazement, you realize that one of your friends is missing. Yeah. <laughs> you pale as you think back on how that friend muttered something about wrapping up a loose end in the house. Better find that throne and get the air on it fast. Alright, well howdy howdy everybody. And welcome back to Table for One. We finish off our Betrayal House in the Hill experience. We last left off with the haunt being made. We know that Mr. Darren Flash Williams is a traitor, and we must get the heir to safety. We need to get them a ring, we need to get them a spear. Uh, we don't have a ring, so I guess we'll just have to find it. So that's gonna take a while, probably. But I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, because I don't think anyone has a ring. He's got a dog. He's got a bloodstone and a skull. And a rope. Yeah, so we don't have it. We don't have any of that shit yet. But, but we'll find it. I believe the ring is an omen, right? I could be wrong. Uh, search, 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 ring. Yep. Okay, so we need to get that ring. So I'll keep in mind now, haunt rolls don't matter. The haunt is started, so there's no more haunt rolls to be made. However, uh, you know, since it's, um, Father Reinhardt had, uh, created the haunt, his turn is now over. It now goes to evil man Flash Williams. He drops the turn track down to zero and starts his, um... Expedition, if you will. He's out for blood, alright? This man, he's not happy. He is stuck in this room with lights out. He literally cannot move faster than his insane speed of six <laughs> until he finds somebody, until he starts kicking the shit out of somebody. Which, keep in mind, uh, we're, we kind of have to keep him from doing that, so. Just go, so, right now, he's got one movement. Where's he gonna go? Uh, he's just gonna keep exploring, cause he's, he, he doesn't, he, cause remember, we need the ring, and the spear, and he knows that, I, I guess I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so for all we know, he knows about this ring too, so it's all a matter of finding it. However, it is now Flash's turn, Flash decides that he's gonna go, oh, I, I went on the wrong color, <laughs> there we go, he's going to move, I uh, guess forward. Just looking around on the roof, you know, like, like normal people do. So, uh, and he finds the charred room. And I did search through this, so I'm gonna reshuffle it. The charred room, it is an omen room, and he finds the vial. The old and crazy woman said you should drink this potion that glows in an amber light. Maybe that's how she got so old and crazy. Uh, you can get physical damage done, you could, nothing happens, you could gain a tr gain one in each trait but sanity or you can gain one in any physical trait that's, that's, that's kind of okay i can see that you can see that being useful uh but in the meantime he's gonna probably want to start making his way back down to someone else but the, uh, there's also nothing the dog can pick up so he's just gonna kind of have the dog just chill for a little bit i guess uh so now that turn is over and the turn track meter thing goes to one peter akimoto's turn now He's like, well, I bet I better be looking for this ring. Oh, I guess uh, I guess I should tell you, cause you know we are on their side, so we're not on the evil man's side. So we have all the information that these people know. So they have decided that Mr. Peter Akimoto is destined to be uh, the uh, the saint guy, the the cool dude, the heir to the to the fortune, if you will. So Peter Akimoto, he's the heir, but Flash doesn't know that. All right, Flash has no idea. So just keep that in mind. Uh, while I try to pr play as if I don't know that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he's just gonna explore. So he's oops, he's just gonna go that way on the upper floor. However, we do eventually need to get him uh, that that spear that Father Reinhardt has. However, we can we can get that later. All right, we're not too worried about that right now. We should find the other item, and then we'll try to get everyone with that one item because if we just give akimoto the spear right now they're gonna know okay that's the that's the guy that's 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 the that's the air but if he just happens to find the ring 
And then we give him the spear, we're one step ahead. It's perfect. And he finds a cat. You cross your path, and you're supposed to have bad luck. But maybe you cross its path, and it's the one that isn't too happy about it. Now we're to count the you. You may call on the cat for luck before your trait roll. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, you just get extra shit for your thing, my dangle. And it cannot be dropped, traded, or stolen, so that cat is with him forever. <laughs> Here, let's give him a cat. This guy. There's a cat. Yeah, that looks about, that's close enough to my cat. Give him a nice big cat. And bigger. Bigger, keep going. Come on, I, I know you can get bigger than- uh-oh, I'm pushing everything. Okay, make, make, hey, you know what? That's big enough. <laughs> Here's your cat, Peter. <laughs> Very nice kitty. Let's fix these up. There we go. So now that is their turn. So now it is uh, Madame Zostra's turn. Madame Zostra uh, is going to, again, going to keep searching. Keep going that way. Just kind of moving. Just kind of moving around. Because remember, we need to find this ring. This ring is very important. If we can find the ring, then we're golden. And then we don't even have to worry about trying to kick Williams' ass. We just have to focus on, you know, doing the, the ritual, the air, bringing him to the statuary corridor. Which does suck that it is over there, but I mean, what can you do, you know, at the end of the day? Also, keep in mind, there's still assassins, and we don't know what to, what, what to do about that, but when they show up, they show up, I guess. Uh, so now we're in the collapsed room, so let's see. You must attempt a speed roll of 5+, plus to avoid falling. If you fall, draw a basement tile and put it in play, and then you take some physical damage. Okay, so from the uh, ground up, so let's see, so this is the right... Stop. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, so collapsed room. So it, it, there is no symbol on it, which means I get to keep moving. So that was one, and then try to move two. But we'll have to make a speed roll, right? Five or higher. That's a very crazy fucking speed roll. I don't know if we're able to do that. Speed of... Oh, no, they have five speed. I forgot to up their speed a little. So they might actually be able to do it. They did. They just did. Jeez, okay, they're good. All right, Madame Zostra keeps moving. Keeps trekking forward. Still on the ground floor. Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? It was impressive. <laughs> it, was impre <laughs> it was impressive regardless, Madame Zastra. See ya. Whee! Where the fuck is the basement? There it is. Wham. <laughs> so that's two. <laughs> they could go back up and try again. <laughs> no, we'll, get, we'll chill in the basement for a little. There's probably a lot of omens in here. And three. There it is, an omen. You can attempt a sandy roll of six plus to cross. If you fail, you stop moving. God damn. That's rough, but you got an omen. Madame Zostra gets the holy symbol. Gain two sanity and lose two if you lose it. That all it does. The symbol of calm and unsettling world. That's good. Eh, yeah, nothing wrong with calm. And they gain two sanity. Up at seven sanity now. Madame Zostra is stacked. Alright, I don't mean to I don't mean to say anything about that, but she's she's loaded right now. I'm going in the right turn. Yeah, okay. So now uh, her turn's over. So now it is Father Reinhardt's turn. Father Reinhardt, what is he about to do? He's probably just going to yeah, keep exploring. Yeah, may as well. If we can just find a ground floor. There we are. The Mystic Elevator! Yo! Fucking love the Mystic Elevator. Everyone loves the Mystic Elevator. Once per turn, roll two dice and move this room to any f open to any open door on any floor. Fucking awesome. Well, on whatever floor you land on. So let's go. We're taking the Mystic Elevator, baby. Let's go. We got a two. Alright, is that just ground floor? That is just ground floor. Well, we can go anywhere. So we may as well just uh, go somewhere we haven't already been. Here! We go here. So that's, that was one. Going there. Two. Three. Is he only have three fucking speed? Hold on. I forget what his speed is. His speed's only three. Okay, hold on. May want to plan this a little better. If we go here, there we go. If we go there, because then there'll be two and then three into there. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. It's the path. The patio, not the path. The patio. And they get an event. Let's see what it is. Oops. <laughs> closet door. My closet door is open. Just a crack. There must be something inside. Put the closet token in this room, and you can attempt to uh, open it, I guess. Uh, with, you can roll two dice to open a closet. Okay. Draw an event card and move the closet. Oh, so you can just get a whole bunch of shit in this closet until you get a really bad roll. That's awesome. Uh, I think it would be in here. Closet. Yes, it is. There's a closet in the patio. That is the worst. That is the weirdest spot to get. I guess maybe that's what that is. 
it's like a little dresser just outside next to the well. No, you dip your friggin' hands into the wet well and out comes a machete, you know, that sounds that sounds good to me. Uh, so now it is uh, Flash Williams' turn. Where will he go? He's just gonna go uh, this way, I guess. And he's on the roof, so I guess upper works. And it is the gymnasium. Who puts a gymnasium on the roof? Once per turn, if you end your turn here, gain a speed. Good for you, buddy, getting faster by the day. And he gets an omen. Will he get the ring? He does not. He gets a book. Haha, <laughs> nerd. A diary or lab notes, ancient script, or modern ravings. Gain two knowledge and you lose two knowledge if you lose the book. So he's now up to five knowledge. He's a smart boy. He's a pretty stacked character. It's going to be hard to take him out if we have to. He's like, if he get if he gets the friggin' spear or something, it's going to be rough to get him to, to take him out. So let's see. Uh, so that was the closet door. And that was his flash's turn. So now the turn meter goes up one more. Dun dun dun. <laughs> and now it is Peter Akimoto's turn with his feckin' cat of wonder. Uh, we are going to go this way. Just keep moving up on the upper landing. See why not? And we find the master bedroom. Ah, child walking into the master bedroom. What's he gonna find? The ring! Hey! Holy shit. That is... Dude, that is... That is really lucky. Okay. A battered ring with an incomprehensible inscription. If you attack... If you attack an opponent that has a sanity trait... You can attack with sanity instead of might. That's really good for freaking um. It's like good for Father Reinhardt, people who have a lot of sanity, obviously. Uh, but yeah, so he has the ring now. So Peter Akimoto has the ring. So now it's a matter of getting Peter the spear as well, and then making him bringing him up to the statuary corridor. So Flash probably did himself an injustice walking so far away from it. Now he's gonna have to try to work his way around. Well, they have to get in through the wall switch room. So it's gonna... It's all just kind of a luck of the draw, because there's literally no other way in there. Both ways are blocked off right now. Oh, unless they get the Mystic Elevator. Ooh, if they get the Mystic Elevator up there, that'd, that'd be game. That'd literally just be game. Uh, but yeah, so either way, uh, that was his turn. So now it is Madame Zostra. So Madame Zostra... So they have the items now. So now she's just probably gonna try to make her way upstairs. So she's going one, two... How much speed does she have? Five? Five speed. Gosh dang, she's a fast one. So one, two, and then where does she want to go? I guess she wants to try to fake being the person. So let's do this. All right, let's have her go three, four, and then I don't really know how trading items works, but uh, we're just gonna say that this is this is hers now. You know, to try to make her try to make him think that Zostra is now just trying to collect the items, and then she still has one more speed, so she might as well just explore a little, see what's going on. Nothing wrong with getting some more items. Gotta reshuffle. Closing my eyes and ding. And upper basement, basement, basement. <laughs> Lots of basement. We have not covered any basement ground. Dining room, another omen. Let's see what we get there. The medallion. You are immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. A medallion inscribed the pentagram. Good shit. Madame Zostra is freaking rocking all the omens. She's got five of them. Jeez. See, now, now we're just rolling in omens. This is, this is insane. Uh, but now it is Father Reinhardt's turn. Father Reinhardt, he's gonna he's gonna try to open the closet. You know why not? Once turn explorer's turn, they can roll two dice. He he wants to open his closet. And it's not a, it's not an action. He gets a three, which is an event. Okay, so uh, out of nowhere, uh, webs. He <laughs> he he reaches into the closet and there's nothing but cobwebs. <laughs> Just useless cobwebs. This closet hasn't been used in 18 years. Casually, you reach up to brush some webs aside, but they won't brush away. They cling. You must attempt a might roll. Oh god. So he puts his hand in the fucking closet, and immediately gets just trapped in the closet. Oh, it's like that fucking R. Kelly song. Alright, so he's got, what, a might of two? He's got a might of two! And he has to break free of the four! Oh, I don't see you winning this one, buddy. Hate to break it to you. Yeah. <laughs> So he's stuck. So he knows he dipped his hand into the closet and just freaking got super glued to the, to the door. If you're stuck, you can't do anything until you're freed. Once during an explorer's turn, an explorer can attempt a might roll to free you. Anyone failing can't move for the rest of that turn, and after three unsuccessful attempts, you break free automatically on your next turn and you take your turn normally. Jesus Christ. Good good work, Reinhardt. Uh, but now it is Flash's turn, uh, so Flash is like, shit, I don't, I can't get the ring now, might as well just, uh, 
go play defense, go play some hard D. And he's just walking into the chart room with his measly one fucking movement, and he's ending his turn. However, that brings it to three. Suddenly, it feels like it's more, it's like more presence in the house. I don't, I don't know what to say they are, but it, I just got this weird feeling. Ugh, like I don't know. But either way, let's just um, let's just keep going. So, uh, Peter Akimoto's turn now, I guess. Well, actually, hold on, let's... Hold on, I, I need a minute, hold on, I'm so... This is, this is weird. Alright, I'm back. That was... I think it's fine. Alright, but Peter, Peter's turn now. Alright, it's Peter Akimoto. Best, best guy, the best name. Uh, he's just gonna try to make his way down, I guess. There's no reason not to. So he's heading towards the theater, and, uh... Oh, God, I just... Uh, what is that? I just... Oh, shit! It's an assassin! Jesus! Just fucking... Looks, you know, it looks almost identical to his cat. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> the assassin sweeps out from the shadows and rolls two dead. Rolls two die. Of course, of the red. One. Wow. Good, good fucking work, assassin. He slashes Peter in the face for one physical damage before taking a cyanide pill and killing himself, never to be seen again. So Peter takes one mental, one physical damage. So I guess he's taking it in. It might. Sure, why not? Uh, see, so yeah, Peter, Peter's lo Peter's not looking that great. Like, if he, so now, so now they kind of understand how, now we kind of understand how this, this thing works. Like, just certain rooms are laced with fucking people, and one of them just attacked Peter for some reason. I don't, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, he's only got one, two, three, four left. So, I mean, he can survive another f max attack, but after that, he's, he's not looking good. And he, he's the heir. We can't let the air die. That's not good. So let's just try to we gotta try to heal him up somehow. I think uh, Father Reinhardt might want to try to make his way, or maybe he wants to make his way to Father Reinhardt. But uh, we don't want to risk getting too many assassins now, I guess. So gotta be a little careful. Uh, but Madame Zoster is here. Madame Zoster is here to save the day. She's coming in. She's making a might roll. She's pretty strong, right? Madame, Zoster, yeah, it's fucking four. That's pretty good. That's double yours, She's friggin' Jeez Louise, guy. Oh, look at the look at that. Look at that magic. Free old dumbass. <laughs> there we go. So now they've been freed, but you don't gain the one might. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, that's fine. So they don't no one gains might. They just freedom. And now her turn can continue. So she's going one and then it goes two. The fuck is that? Like almost like behind the statue? Holy shit! Okay. Oh oh no. Oh, 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 oh it's like it's like when Mario gets jump scared in Paper Mario and he just fucking starts spinning around like a madman. The assassin gets closer, and closer, and closer. Before slashing into her face, another two. I don't like to get this one doesn't count. For two damage, before taking another side at capital and ending his own life. So now she's taking the brunt of one. So now it takes two. Jeez, this is getting rough. Okay, so I guess now she needs her speed. So we drop the might. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, she's not. She's not here to fight. She's just here to fucking walk around a lot. So that was one, two. Oh wait, she, he technically still had a whole turn, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Well, he still had a turn. Sorry, because what's what's his what's his speed? His speed's four. So he, he should have gone another three movements. So he's gonna go one, two, three. And luckily, nothing crazy happens during those three movements, so it's fine. Uh, but he did. Oh, he already ended in the library. Okay. So now yeah, she goes. That was one, two. And I guess she's making her way up to the Mystic Elevator. All right? Why not? No reason not to. She's trying to pretend like she's the one who. Who's uh being so crazy? Four, so she can go anywhere. Yeah, she's going. She's going up here. She's going right up there. No, no, she probably doesn't want. No, she doesn't want to do that. She wants to make everyone think that she's the one. Oh, and she has the spear, right? Yeah, so she can go. Oh, this is good. This is a, this is a good idea. Bam, up in here. Cause now that's three and four, five, and then it probably takes a turn for them to grab that. But now whatever happens, they just have to go into the mystic elevator and hope to God for a four. And they don't have to worry about any more assassin. That mystic elevator really fucks with the whole assassin thing, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, so now it's uh, Father Reinhardt's turn. Father Reinhardt's going, oh, well, he's got his... He's still got this nice closet. I got nothing better to do with my day. <laughs> he can't kill me. Oh, he wants to go to Peter. He got a four, though. Draw an item card. Device. If you're in the same room as an opponent, gain one knowledge. Discard this card to add three dice to your attack roll, but you may only use that attack to steal something. For those of you who don't know, if you make a successful attack roll, instead of doing damage, you can also steal an item off of somebody. So if, if Flash gets into a room with either one of these two, they can steal the ring or the spear off of them. To, so they can't fucking 
do their thing. So they they got an item and like hey B woo and now he's going one and I guess just two three he's gonna make his way up there right <laughs> he's gotta break pretend he's he's something more important than he actually is but now it is Flash's turn. Flash is not happy he's not happy at all but with his one movement what the fuck is he gonna do nothing he's just gonna go into the fucking the rope room the rookery and he's just gonna kind of chill I guess there's no one you can really do. <laughs> It's kind of, th this, this completely screwed him. He'd be able to do so many crazy things, but he just can't. He literally just can't. Uh, okay, so now it is, I guess, back to Peter Akimoto. Peter Akimoto with his turn. Uh, he's going to s not snatch the ring and give it to Zostra, like he's probably expecting. And he's taking it. He's taking that spear from Madame Zostra. Now, he is a spear in the rope, the ring. So now he has to hope to God for a four. He has four movement. He's going one, two. So now he's going to roll for three. And then he's got to... Oh, he's going to be right fucking in there. That's going to be a rough one. No, but still, he has, he has to do it. This is, this is our chance. Assuming that we get the four. If not, we're just going to have to wait a little bit. He got three. Ah, oh, that sucked. So that's upper floor. So he gets, he's just back in here. And he's going to go to the spiral staircase. Right? Just to... So that way he can just go, he may spend two spaces, or, or he can just go to the upper landing, right? Because it just links to the upper landing. Leads to and from the upper landing. Yeah, I think that just makes more sense. Let's get him there faster. There we go. Okay. So there's that. Now Madame Zostra's turn. Madame Zostra is going to start making her way up there as well. So she's going one, two. Wait a minute. The presence. It's, it's, ah! Jesus, fuck. Oh, oh my god, no, no, no! Uh, S. Snaking on you. Okay, uh, and then uh, it takes <laughs> two damage. <laughs> two, well, not, well, not, not, we don't know just yet. Could be a lot, could be none. One. God, that, those assassins fucking suck. <laughs> poor, poor Flash couldn't hire very good people now, could he? He's just gonna, she's gonna keep dropping her might. Now she can't drop her might now, so if she falls into another assassin trap, she's gonna have to start moving a little slower. Uh, but yeah, so that was turn one, two. She still has five movements. So, I mean, she can. You can go three, and then four, and then five, just to try to get into the statuary corridor, just to try to play some defense. Uh, now that's her turn. So now it is back to Father Reinhardt. Father Reinhardt's going a one, a two, and a three. Everyone's making their way upstairs, baby. We're gonna, we're going fucking bananas. Be any any ass. Now it is Flash's turn, and Flash also forgot to move the tracker last time because he's an idiot. Uh, and he is going to the us walk. With his turn, and uh, he, dang, yeah, no, he's just done. This is his turn. <laughs> yeah, so the uh, turn meter goes up to five, which is very scary, and you're very scared right now for your, for your friends that you've watched go through this whole thing, this crazy old craziness. All right, so now it is a uh, Peter Akimoto's turn. Peter's gonna go one, and then he could go to Mystic Elevator, but it just doesn't make much sense. As right, so he's going two, and as he gets, as he, as he. Lugs his way up the stairs, he notices that there's someone waiting for him. Oh my god, what? How? How could he be here? It's... Everyone else ran by, how is this possible? But anything's possible. In the world of assassins. Who did that Oh, I like out too early. Alright, it's fine. Because we don't know what happens yet. This could be a, a wimpy attack, and it could be the biggest attack in the world, so we're gonna find out in a second. Oh my fucking god, these assassins suck. <laughs> Alright, so he kills himself after... Being able to barely touch this man, slow it a mite again, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that was, so let's see, that was one, two, and then three. So now he has to make an attempt at the wall switch. Where is the wall switch? Do we have it somewhere? Did I leave it in here? Did I probably put it back into the stack. Wall switch, wall switch, wall switch, wall switch. No wall switch. Oh, no, revolving wall. Bam. Uh, he needs to make a knowledge roll of three or higher, and then he would have success successfully. Uh, became the heir. So what's his knowledge right now? But he's a pretty smart boy. Four. That's pretty smart. He just needs a three. He got a four. Hey. That's big. He flicks the switch. But before he can truly claim his victory, there's still one more task ahead of him. One more. Shadowy assassin man out of the shadows was waiting for him the entire time. And he's ready to do some big damage. Keep in mind here. Peter Akimoto can only take three. If he gets a perfect four, if this assassin gets a perfect four, Peter Akimoto dies. The heir is dead with both items and he loses. 
He needs to survive this. This assassin cannot get a four. I know he hasn't before, but maybe, maybe they've been really winding it up for this last punch in the face. You don't know. It all comes down to this. And he doesn't even know that. He just knows that there's an assassin. Well, he kind of knows that because he has both the items and he's going into the sanctuary corridor. So he's hoping. Oh, he's hoping. He's going to wind him up. Wind him up and close my eyes. Because I don't want to... When they roll, they kind of jiggle and I don't want to give it away. Go. Oh. My. God. You're kidding. You're actually kidding. You got a perfect hit. That assassin... So th this assassin wasn't actually just any assassin. No. No, no, no. He's something much better than that. He takes off his cloak, which turns him into a shadow that fades away. Only to reveal something slowly creeping out of his pocket. The cat that he befriended so long ago was the biggest assassin of them all. It stomps him <laughs> straight, straight into the ground, straight into the dike. Does four damage of physical damage. He can't defend any of it. There's nothing he can do. Nothing he has here keeps him alive. There's just nothing that can happen. Like, nothing that can happen. He didn't. He didn't roll anything. That assassin just came out of nowhere. He wasn't expecting his own cat to take him down a peg. He goes one, two, three. And before he can even think, I was so close. He hits the death. Peter Akimoto, as unfortunate as it is, as the cat takes his final, their final cyanide pill, gives him a peace out symbol on the way out. Peter Akimoto crumbles to the ground. And keep in mind, they don't even know what happened. They just saw him go behind the wall thinking, it's finally over. But. We hear Flash laughing in the other room. Flash makes his way in. Flash just happens to see it happen through the door. The door was open. He was watching and sees Peter die. The kid is dead. He screams. That was the air, huh? Wasn't it? And as unfortunate as it is, we have to say yes. Flash has killed the air. And Flash wins the game. Evil triumphed today, men. In a shocking turn of events. They have come at last. As you knew they would. The only possible heirs to the ancient Romanescu fortune and power. Your family currently controls the fortune, but if a true heir sits on the throne of this house while holding the Romanescu ring and spear, he or she will take it from you. That must not happen. Tonight, your hidden assassins will kill the heir and keep your family. Turn of events. I did not see that coming. I, I had my eyes closed, I opened them, and I was I, I was in disbelief. That was ridiculous. Flash has managed to succeed. Through some hope, he literally, his, his whole turn in this game was just going, no wait, hold on, what am I doing? <laughs> no, that was his whole turn. That whole time. And he got to see it. He got to see the defeat of Peter Akimoto. The heir has died, and now... The jewels belong to him. Since he has won, there's a little thing we gotta read. The heir is dead. Your family's stolen wealth is safe. Walking past the crumbled body, you drop a paper crown beside it. As the crown reddens with the heir's blood, you quietly shut the door. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that was the game. Flash has unfortunately won. These two have no idea what's about to happen when that wall switch hits again, revealing Flash coming out on top. With a spear and a ring on his hand, he takes him out. And he celebrates his victory with his new friend, Rufus. Rufus the dog blob. The blog. And they have a nice rooftop barbecue party in their gymnasium. Woo! Yeah! Gymnasium! Uh, <laughs> yeah. I did not expect that to literally be down to the last roll of the dice. That is such a good ending. And with that, I mean, that's it. That's the game. You've seen it. I mean, I am recording, thank Christ, because I could never get something that perfect ever again. So thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Table for One. Uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill, everybody. It's a very fun game. One of the first board games I ever actually bought with, like, my money. And I did not regret that purchase. I had so many fun games of it when I played with my friends. I still play it online with them. It's one of the games that we go back to a lot more than other ones. So give this a try. I'm serious. It's a very, it's an amazing game. And it's just, that's, that's all I can say. It's just an amazing game. And this was an amazing game. I hope you enjoyed Betrayal House in the Hill. Bye-bye now, y'all. Have a great day.